Now won't you come along with me Down the Mississippi Louisiana has the largest oyster harvest and oyster landings in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, like 70% of the oyster harvest comes from Louisiana. It's a significant economic value to our state. We have thousands of commercial fishermen, processors, restaurants that rely on the industry for, for their living. We want to have a positive impact on the community and on the environment. So Shell got involved with the oyster recycling program and this innovative project that was brought to us, we could see how it would have an impact across so many facets for the people of Southeast Louisiana. And that's what really attracted us to work with CRCL on this project. So the program developed through a unique partnership that we formed with Shell, the restaurants who participate, and the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. In addition to Louisiana being one of the largest producers of oysters in the country, we also experience what we call a shell deficit in that about 60% of the shell that is re removed from our coast is not returned to help build and sustain future oyster reefs. We already knew uh, that oysters uh, like to set on oyster shells and that oyster shells return to the water uh, are a logical foundation for a growth of new oysters. So when we were approached about the uh, oyster shell recycling program, um, it was immediately a perfect fit. We've always wanted to do recycling. When all of a sudden, because of CRCL, come up with a plan that we could recycle, I knew it would be successful. But what I didn't know is that it would, right out the gate, become the largest oyster recycling program in this country. So it's been um, great to be a part of it. And, you know, man, hats off to everybody. It's a great project. Well, we were, we were excited to get started with the program because we feel like there's a, a big responsibility on the, on the restaurants that use oyster shell stock to, uh, to encourage the sustainability of that industry. And so now by separating those, that, that shell out and putting them into the cans and having the CRCL come pick them up and, and they're being repurposed and, and used to, uh, to help rebuild the coast. The well, staff's excited about it. To, to be able to give back, to be able to make an impact and leave it the whole place better than we found it. It's kind of something that we, we really take pride in and we're really excited to be able to give back. Actually, it's two things. I mean, it, it helps with rebuilding oyster reefs and oyster beds, and, and that's obviously very important. And, and it builds back our coastline, and it, stop, it helps uh, slow down the eroding. So it, it, it's kind of twofold, so you get double the money for your buck. We shuck tons of sacks of oysters each year, and for them to not go into landfills, to get back into the Gulf, has been a really easy transition for us. The program has given us the, uh, the vessels for it, they come pick it up. It's really a seamless operation. All right, so this is a 35 gallon oyster shell recycling bin. Basically what happens is we provide restaurants, locations with one of these bins or depending upon the volume that they produce, a number of these bins and they're picked up five days a week. All right, well here it is. The CRCL Oyster Shell Recycling Shell Pile down in Beerus, Louisiana. I'm standing on one year's worth of oyster recycled oyster shell that's been collected from 11 different restaurants in the New Orleans region. Soon, this sh oyster shell will be used by CRCL and a team of our hardworking volunteers to be used for future oyster reef restoration projects. For the future of the program, we are looking to increase the number of restaurants participating in the New Orleans region. We're currently actively recruiting restaurants who would like to sign up. We are able to offer this program to these restaurants free of charge if they're interested. And we're looking to add all these restaurants starting on July 1st, 2015. Beyond expansion in New Orleans, we're also developing a model of what oyster shell recycling would look like in Baton Rouge. We'd like to move this program, keep moving it west, and look to engage other cities in the process. And that includes modeling how the program will work and seeking additional funding support. And lastly, we'd like to look to see if there is a potential for other shucking houses and seafood processors to get involved. The CRCL Oyster Shell Recycling Program is a simple and delicious way to help restore our coast. Once you shuck them, don't just chuck them. 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 Once you shuck them, don't just chuck them.
<laughs> it's hard not to do it without a little country twang, I think. <laughs> yeah.